booster tank oxygen gives you a speed boost okay that's i mean that's cool but not really what i'm after right now Ooh, oh g'day guys my name's josh you can call me Ja Woodle and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero where I am back to continue my underwater adventure. And when we left off last time, I was saying that I was going to go back to like the, the deeper caves of the floating lily pad place over just over yonder past the purple vents and find myself the rest of the drilling arm. Turns out I had to go all the way back to like the mining sites and go through there and find out uh, find some drilling arms in there. But I did manage to find it. But on my journey, you can see on the right side of my screen, here i have all sorts of blueprints that i want to go and set about making the most important one that i found on that adventure was like actually right, right in front of me so basically in like one of the trenches on the way back down to like the deep dark scary crystal cave place there was a sea truck horsepower upgrade cruising down there so i grabbed that on the way back i kind of wish i had been filming when i did it but you know i was i was just gathering resources that told doing all the boring stuff so i now have the blueprint for the sea truck horsepower upgrade or i got the afterburner upgrade but i've got all these other ones so i think before I head out today i will just make all these things on the side of my screen not the artifact thing that can wait till later i mean that's gonna to have to go down to like the red crystal crave again to get that going but like the sea truck uh, attachments the prawn suit attachments all the things about my vehicles just a little bit better i'm going to make before i leave but before i even get to that there is something that people have been hounding me to do in the comments for quite a while and i'm finally gonna get around to do it i'm finally going to just on the end of the little like stalk over here put a uh what should i call it a scanner room on my base i've got all the things already on me to make sure this all connects up i hope that's going to connect it didn't make a little doodle there to connect up to the base before so i'm not sure it's actually going to work it didn't work <laughs> why can't you just connect look it's right there just attach yourself over that way why can't you just stick out your tongue and lick each other there we go i had to rotate it fortunately this is one of the ones that you can actually rotate let's put you there hopefully oh actually no, you know what? You know what? This was originally going to be the place that I was going to put my little bedroom in overhanging this deep, dark, and uh, scary trench because the Lassophobia apparently is not a real-life thing. It definitely is a real-life thing. It's fucking terrifying. Welcome the ocean is scary, but this is just an ocean game, so it should be okay. I'm going to grab this and move it over there and put the scanner room just on the uh, the little like, stalk here. That's a good place for it. Don't need the sweet views I'm going to get out of the observatory for the scanner room. After all, it's basically just a titanium cube with some instruments in it. Make sure we put our little bed back single bed quilt to double bed the fancier of the three options let's put you right in the middle of my little bedroom out here so you're floating above everything it'd be, it'd be a pretty terrible place uh pretty terrifying place even to sleep i'm just trying to have a little keep well if you look down you can see the inner workings of the planet that would uh i mean it's not particularly peaceful at all but i mean at least that's a cool view all the same so that is now out there where i originally wanted to build it way back when but i now have the scanner room and the reason i wanted to do that like, before anything is because oh my god that looks cool Oh, it's really cool. It's because apparently this is going to enable me to change the color of the whole base as a whole. What kind of scanner HD chip or a bunch of other hard chip rather? Lots of other things. Apparently, I mean, I don't know how to do it, but apparently you can uh, you can change the base color inside the scan room. I have to do a quick little Google to double check that. But I want to make my base purple. I want to make it just like a, like a nighttime disco, just like Pudgies. So according to Google, it's not the scan room does it all. It's called the control room, which I don't actually have the blueprint for yet. Yeah, not in there at all, but like it should be in here somewhere. I've checked everything like piece by piece. I'm not skipping over stuff. I do not have a control room uh, blueprint in here at all. No exterior modules. I can't even put like um, the bloody watch record. I can't put the uh, upgrade console in here at all. It's all cooked. It's all not going to happen. So... I thought that people were saying the scanner room. I'm going to give them a bit of a doubt and assume that I misread it and it was probably with the control they were talking about. But I can't build one. I just, I just don't have that option. But that doesn't mean that the scanner room is completely redundant. I currently have it scanning for anomalies. And you can see there's two little red dots, which might, well, it's three red dots actually. One over here, one there, and one over there, which makes me think I probably should actually get the upgrade to send information to my HUD. So I might even, look, I'm in the mood for upgrading all this stuff anyway. I might get all the scanner room upgrades, because this actually might come in handy. What, what do I need for this? Upgrade, silver ore, got some in the box over there. Got that too. Computers is going to be difficult just because I need the, uh, the coral samples. I can go and get those relatively easily. I don't really need camera drones, but like these three here... That'll be fine. That's that's easy done. All right, be right back in two seconds. I'll create some materials. Come back and make myself some awesome scanning equipment. I had to head out into the big wide open ocean. Well, basically just to the twisty bridges. Anyway, just over there. There's lots of coral over there, which is good for me because that's what I need to make myself 
the um, what the, the computer chips, but I'm gonna need quite a few. I need it not only for the scanner room, but also apparently for some of the stuff. Uh, if I don't need it for anything else over there, plus still ingots, I'm seeing a lot of wiring kits, some lithium, some diamonds, lots of diamonds for the drill arm. Actually, kind of makes sense. I guess you've got a drill tit grill uh, driller on the end of it. Uh, did I say that right? I don't think I did. Uh, right, I'm here now. What do I need? I need a, a bloody computer chip. What am I missing? Some copper wire. I've got plenty of copper. I already came back and dropped some off. I've got some on me already. Take some more of you and some more gold because why not? All right, what have you got for me? Resources, copper wire, then a computer chip, and then I think I've got everything on me already. I've already pulled out the magnetite, and um, in fact, it was just a couple of magnetites as well, and some silver as well. All right, we're good, we're good. Let's go. That's not the scanner room. The scanner room's over this way. I'm already getting lost. Oh my god, it's bright and glaring here. Already getting lost. My own bloody base. Fabricator, um, scanner hut chip. That's gonna be important because I wanted to tell me where those anomalies are. That sounds like a pretty good time. Speed, uh, range. Let's make sure we actually enhance the range before anything else. Get that one done. And speed as well because why not? I'm not gonna bother about the camera drones. Boom. Done. All upgrades in, please. You, you, and. Oh, wait. Was that the last thing? Has that gone on to me? Oh, it went on to me. That's where that was supposed to go. I was wondering what was supposed to go on my other shoulder. I've got my compass and now my um my scanner HUD chip. Excellent. Okay. Well, please send me all of these things. I need to know where they are. Well, wow, that's a real long way down. Have I been down there before? I think that might actually be the um the mining site down that way. I think I'm probably going to be down there already. What's what's the range on you? Still uh, seriously. Seriously, that bloody chip, the range chip, uh, it has a sc scanner range, enhanced it by 50 meters. It was 300, now it's 350. That is some bullshit, but at least it tells me where everything is. Something weird's going on with my locker. Oh, no, there we go. I say that, and now it was, it was basically just like I was clicking on it, and it would tend to bring up the PDA, but then it wouldn't actually do it, which was kind of annoying. Got some rubies, got some gel sacks, got titanium, copper, some gold. How are we looking over there? I need to make one aero gel, which is why I needed the gel sacks. Uh, advanced materials make one of you please so that'll get me the torpedo arm which sounds like a good time considering i probably have to go down and face those shadow leviathans a little bit more what else we got in here we need some enamel glass for my sea truck acquiring a module and some plastic ingots four diamonds for the prawn suit drill arm and lubricant and advanced wiring kit for that it's just a matter of just going through here and just checking everything off as I go through. Which doesn't sound like much to do, but like that's like, you know, responsibility and not getting distracted. Which is something I'm not good at at all. I'm always getting distracted from everything. So like staying focused on one task at any one time is just a bridge too far. Oh, uh, I'm gonna need to go get some more titanium again. This is a, there's a lot of uh, a lot of grinding in this game. Like I cut a lot of this out. Like when I record these episodes, I cut a lot of like the more tedious stuff. I was going out and grabbing a whole bunch of titanium and coming home again. I cut all that kind of stuff out because otherwise this would be two hours of not a lot happening. But there's a lot of grinding that goes into this. Like this save file has already been going on for 20 hours. Man, like maybe like 15 of those hours is just going and getting all the materials. The rest of it is just like occasionally going exploring. It's like, like the, the ratio there is a little bit wacko, but whatever, you know, it's, it's all part of the fun. The thing I'm really getting at, like once I've done all this, the thing I want to do is I want to go and explore, like, you know when I came up out of like the red crystal caverns, I was, I was coming up and I came up underneath that uh, part of a different kind of ship. It wasn't a ship I've been, like the normal ship, it was a, like a third part that I hadn't been to before. I want to go and see what's around there, because I reckon it's probably something pretty interesting for me. Oh, I need some more lithium, damn it, in here somewhere. I reckon it's probably something interesting over there. There wouldn't be like a random thing that noticeable uh, for no reason. This game isn't that big, and putting something that big and special in there probably means that there's maybe some alien tech around there or something, or just something that I should, at the very least, go and scope out. I need more freaking lithium. Do I have lithium in here? I do, thank God. I also had... I have a plastic ingot in there. Where, where the hell did that come from? And why did I forget about it? Well, I'll just take that then and save the uh, save the lithium for another day. Uh, need some wiring kits and I need... No, I just need wiring kits at this point. Oh, and enamel glass. That's what I was, what I was making. All right, here we go. Enamel glass. I need lead. Damn it, I was getting confused. Thank God I live in a place with lots and lots of ore all around. Like, I could have built my base really anywhere. Some more silver ore. Thank you very much. But I've built it in a place where I've got, like, easy access to a bunch of different areas. All of which have some, like, relatively rare materials. Like, before, I've talked about before, I had so much rare materials and none of the basic ones. Now, I've just kind of used all of them and I'm running out of everything. But I can go and get whatever I need relatively quickly. Old mate Pudgy Boy is getting a serious workout because every time I need anything, Pudge is what I take out. I could take Penny with me. But it's just, I mean, it's just not quite as fast. You know, I'd rather have the speed and the motion, the flexibility that Pudgy Boy offers. Now that I've got his big uh, badonkabonk off his backside. But like, oh, look at that. Look at that. See, this is the thing. I need lead. I need silver. And right here is now crop for lead. That gives me titanium, which I also need anyway. 
some lead, so there's some lead there, and some titanium, but I also got some silver. We're, we're just getting all the things we need. We're doing fine. I just need some gold, and then I should be good to go. Where's all my gold gone? There's one there. I just needed the one. That's fine. All right. Uh, you, you add advanced wiring kit. And then what have I got? I've got everything I need for the aquarium. I've got everything I need for the horsepower. I've got everything I need for the snow fox jump module, which I kind of forgot about, but there it is there, which is fine. I'm never going to find any kind of, I don't know where the kind of actually is. I assume it's down in the rest of the blue crystal cave. So I'm not going to have to have a look down there at some point when I go back down. And I'm not going to make the artifact stuff just yet. But those three there, that's all I wanted to make for now. Um, where am I going to make the jump module? Is that going to be in like the uh, the vehicle uh, modification bay? I assume it's where I make most of the other modifications. If not, I guess I'll make it in Pudge. Is it in here? Well, I need the horsepower upgrade. Make you. Where do I find the Snow Fox one then? Please don't tell me I have to go make another freaking pad and make it in that thing. Because that's the case. I guess I'll just store the stuff in Pudge and do it when I get back, back out there again. But that's a long way away from where I am now. And I can't really be asked. Oh, there we go. It's in the bloody deployables for some reason. I don't understand why that's in there. But sure, whatever. I had to go to Pudgy Boy to get it done. But now I have that. I'll save that for later. I'll just like store you in here. Uh, so for later. I don't need any you in Pudge. That is for sure. But I do need to go give Pudge his horsepower upgrade. And I think once I go and give Penny uh, her new arms, then I think that'll be everything I wanted to do before I actually went out and went investigating today. Uh, that's the wrong one. That one there. Okay, there we go. So, how much faster are you going to be? I am towing quite a lot of weight behind it. Let's see if you still actually get, actually get up some speed. I mean, it feels it feels about the same. It's, it's kind of hard to tell when you're floating through the ocean. It's like when you're flying a plane up in the air, or like a gyrocopter in seven days. It feels like you're going super slow. You're probably not. I don't know. I was hoping for some serious speed out of this thing. Maybe I'll just leave its bedonkadonk behind and go out to the, um, like the deep purple vents, I suppose it was, where that part of the ship was. Nah, fuck it. I'll just, I'll take the whole thing. That's right. I've got nothing but time. I can just tap X. I think it was in this direction and go have a quick little gander and see what's going around around that little goose pen. Hopefully it's something good. I don't know. I can definitely imagine me getting out there, looking around, finding nothing. And this all been a massive colossal waste of time. I just realized I got a little bit away from the base and I realized that I had the stuff to make the aquarium uh, trailer for my sea truck as well. So I may as well make that and that also reminds me someone in the comments was saying that the reason that like my my vehicle bay and my grab trap are all kind of stretched out and weird is because i was dropping them from the inventory rather than like putting them in the hopper and then placing them so i'm going to give that a crack and see if i can fix it like that uh in fact the grab trap i think lives inside pudge now there it is there it is up there all right let's just uh stop you here thank you very much jump out i also went away with all of the materials that i had before on me look i'm filled with valuable stuff that i probably shouldn't have left behind um, where are you? Just here. Okay. Let's pick you up, if I can, please. No, here we go. And let's put you in my hotbar like that. Let's see if this fixes it. Four, go. I mean, it looks good so far. Hey, look, it fixed it. What do you know? People in the comments were right. I should never have doubted. I should never have had a doubt in my mind. Use vehicle bay. Let's make myself another trailer. Why don't I have all the stuff for it? A crew module. Well, I need another wiring kit. God damn it. Okay, I've got the silver. Back to Pudge. I'll be right back. Let's see the cooker go make something. Here we go. Sea truck aquarium module. Make that for me. Now, apparently, if I'm like driving around with the aquarium module attached to Pudgy Boy, then that thing will just act like kind of the vacuum of the sea. But rather than cleaning up all the mess, it'll just like suck up all the fish. So I'll always have like a, a supply of food and water. I should I get some bladder fish in there. So I'm not going to bother going and getting some bladder fish out of my tank and bring it out here. I'm just going to attach it to Pudgy Boy. And hopefully when I arrive at my next destination, it'll be full of stuff. I'll, uh, I'll get it attached now and then I'll drop all the stuff in my inventory off in my base. Once it's all attached, we'll be ready to go. This episode's already like a couple of minutes, oh, a couple of minutes, so several minutes in, and we haven't actually gone anywhere, but these things are important, you know? You have to make sure that I'm getting everything that I possibly can out of this. That includes making all the stuff. All right, ready to start the day. I just had a quick little kip in my bed to get it to daytime, which is pretty good. Let's get up and out of here. Well, let's go find Pudgy Boy and get this adventure started. Right, no more distractions. I've been faffing about for a long time. Look how long Pudgy Boy is. You are one long schlong. You could satisfy, I mean, at this point, I might have to rename you. I, 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 I don't know, like Ron Jeremy or something, but you are an impressive size and girth and speed and power too. You're just everything that anyone could ever want, aren't you? Make me feel very self-conscious here, pudgy boy. I'm gonna have to just like forget I ever knew you. And when I see you out and about on the town, it's be like, <laughs> no, thank you. I don't wanna know anyone that you know, because I could never live up to the expectations that you have set for people. Uh, I need to go 
northeast. I think that's the direction that my um the, the purple vents were in. Let's follow all the spies. Eventually that changes to purple fire, and then I'll follow wherever it goes down. If I find that piece of a ship, I'm in the right place. But now I just have like the auto drive, the autopilot is on, so I can sit back, have a frothy, or just you know maybe I should have had a kip now. Didn't I say somewhere about like a sleeping compartment on Pudgy? Can I have a cot in the back of Pudge, like a sleeper, a, a, a sleeper uh, part? I mean, if I can, that would be wonderful because I'd very much like to just, you know, go and have a quick little snooze while I cruise across the ocean floor. Here we go. This is where the purple vents uh, area is. You can see them over there. Oh God, there's monsters everywhere though. Alan's getting all sorts of wiggly excited inside my head. So I might, oh, that's probably because there's anomaly like relatively nearby. Let's just start heading down. Look. Someone just took a bite out of my bloody brand new booty. I just got an implant in my ass cheeks and you come over and took a chunk out of it. You know how expensive that shit was? God damn. All right, well, this is uh, well, this is the purple fence and it's going deeper, which is good, but it also probably means, oh God, there's some really, lots of things nearby that I don't want to deal with. Why did I look up? Why did I, why did I look up? Looking up is never a good idea. Go down into the trench and pretend no one ever saw you. And now that I'm using EMPs all over the freaking shop, I did make sure I reloaded my repair tool before I left. I feel like I'm going to need it. There's also lots of uh, components for Sea Truck around here. So maybe there's something good for me out here that I just don't know about yet. Oh, look, there it is. Sea Truck sleeper module fragment. Okay, so I definitely can put a cot into uh, Pudgy Boy. You're looking at me like you're hungry and you can piss off with that kind of look. I ain't dealing with that right now. No, thank you, Bob. Let's get down here, search the rest of this stuff. Oh, God. Docking module. I got so distracted by what I was looking at. And there's like a... Ah! Ah! You big old sausage. All right, I'm going back to Pudgy. I'm going back to Pudge. I got a docking module for him, though. I think it was only one and two, so I'm going to need some more out of him. Well, like, okay, so I can I can dock Penny up to Pudgy Boy. We can go on adventures together. The buddy Pudgy and Penny together forever. Piss off, everyone. Piss Ow! Oh, God! That is not what I was hoping to come across. Ow! 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 Get off! Oh, my God! The big shrimpy thing is eating me and I'm stuck in the wall. Ah, uh, game. What am I supposed to do? Game? What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> um, well, fuck. Well, you know what? While I'm stuck in this wall, I've fallen Austin Powers my pudgy boy. I'm going to quickly just uh, repair the parts that I can actually reach because it's definitely seen some better days. I'm not sure how I'm going to get out of this predicament. I guess we'll figure it out once we sort this out. Actually, maybe, maybe I could like disconnect. This is going to be risky. Disconnect. Okay. Can I get out? I can. How, how, how are we looking? How, what's going on over here? Maybe I could just like, oh, oh. Where is he? Where is the shrimpy? Well, there's one of the idiots. I don't want to fight with you, though. I can't. I, don't have, I have nothing big enough to actually deal any damage to those stupid alligators. Oh, God. I'm real nervous now. All right. Well, while that's stuck in the wall, let's uh, just get completely constructed. What is this thing? Booster tank. Oxygen gives you a speed boost. Okay. That's, I mean, that's cool, but not really what I'm after right now. Oh! <laughs> No, 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 no. It was stuck down there. It was waiting for me like the goddamn giant worm, the meteor. Oh my god, it was nothing but teeth and mouth when I got down there. And this thing, right, I'm hiding behind this. Oh my god, of all the things I was expecting to find, that was not one of them. God damn that crocodile bastard. The last of the sleeper module fragments. I'll grab you. There's another one just the other side as well. Two out of three, or maybe this will be the third out of three. I'm not sure. I also want to get that docking module thing going on. Oh, there, that's the other one. Okay. Are they both out of three? Yes, they are both out of three. Okay, there's got to be more around here somewhere. Not that it... Oh, there's one right there. Not that this is particularly uh, heartwarming, given that there's monsters everywhere. I should have brought Penny. Penny would have been the way to go here. She would have been my best friend because I could punch these Muppets in the face. But instead, it's just me, my two legs that are getting chomped on, and Penny, uh, Pudgy, that's stuck in the freaking wall. Are you the last part of all of this? Uh, can I... Can I... No, can I... I, I can't scan you. You've got... Oh, my God! Oh my god. Okay. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Oh look! Pudgy fixed itself. All right. Let's get. Let's get back. Are you all attached? Let's go get Penny because I'm defenseless, hurt, and a little bit frightened. Oh, I see ya. I see you, big shrimpy fuck. But you're guarding that thing, and I want it quite badly. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Charge full speed ahead and electrocute your goddamn taste buds. You're not gonna be able to taste shit for a week. You're like goddamn Marv in Home Alone 2. Yeah, Home Alone 2. When your hat latches onto the bloody taps, you're gonna be jiggling and shaking for the rest of your goddamn life. Quickly grab you before we get eaten again by that goddamn shrimpy. Fuck, you're only good with tartare sauce. I'm gonna eat you, not the other way around. 
Oh my god. Okay, let's just get out of here. I've had enough. I've had enough fun for one day. I'm leaving. I'm out of these. I'm gone. That was just all round awful. I hated every moment of being there, but I got those two new things I can attach to it. Let's make punching even slower, but we can bring Penny with us now. And that's more important. After all that, I don't even know if that was the right place. Like, I got to the purple vents and went down and found a bunch of cool stuff, which was what I was hoping for. But I never actually found the part of the ship that I was looking for. So I assume I was in the right place or, like, close enough. I don't know. I'll have to go back there and have another look around once I've got Penny to back me up. I and mean, Penny won't really help me against the big corny bastard, but it might help me against some of the other stuff. I do need to get Penny out of the docking bay, though. I should just build a second moon pool, I know, but I mean, look, now I've got the docking uh, attachment for Pudgy. There's no reason to have two moon pools. I can just run everything from the same one. Let's get Penny out of the way. The frames are dying a little bit, but that's all right. I'm very hurt and very hungry and very thirsty. I've just had an all around awful goddamn time. So I need two plasteel ingots, an advanced wiring kit, two fiber meshes, and five leads. Okay, that's not particularly bad if I had to go to use my scanner room. The anomalies, I mean, yeah, sure, I'll deal with that a little bit later. But right now, I want you to tell me where some lead is, if you please. Emergency. Starvation imminent. All right, fine. I'll get some calories then. I'll go and mung down on a Big Mac. If you just leave me alone, you goddamn drongo. Uh, where are we looking? Uh, no, nothing there. I know I've got one in here somewhere. I don't know what I've done with it, though. Oh, there was a health pack in there, actually. I'm going to need one of those. 10, 10, and 40. God, I'm in some pretty rough shape. I have been through the wars. There it is. There. I am not a happy little camper. So all I'm really missing now is just, uh, well, the advanced wiring kit. But I need to go and get some lead. I need another three from somewhere. I'm pretty sure I have some fiber mesh in here somewhere. I went and made a bunch of it last time. There's one there. Uh, I'm going to need another one. And some silver. I have any silver left over I used it all last time. This is what I mean. I was talking about before about how I cut out all like the uh, the grinding and the resource gathering stuff because there's a lot of it for things like this. You know, you think you have everything in there and it turns out you got nothing. So you've got to take Pudgy out, go scour the ocean floor for what you need and then come back and eventually go out again. It's just uh, basically the adventures are like the little like intermissions between grinding and finding of giant monsters. So I'm just short two silvers on that one, three leads and some fiber mesh. Okay, that's doable. That's easy. I'm not going to dock Pudgy back up to the rest of his badonkadonk. I've said that like three times this episode already. I'm just going to take Pudgy by himself. Well, I could, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe I can take it. Maybe I can take Penny. A bit while since I took Penny out, just kind of sitting over there with his purple bad self, just waiting for another opportunity to come out and impress me. But it's probably not worth it, actually. It's probably not worth it at all. Uh, I did. I thought I set the scanner room to tell me where lead was. However, I'm not really seeing anything. Are you Are you not telling me where lead is? I mean, I still need silver as well. Maybe I'll switch it to silver and there's no lead around. But there shouldn't be too far away. Look, there's one right there. Why aren't you telling me that there's lead there? Look, right there. And probably some silver right next to it. Chance of lead. Lead. Chance of silver. Titanium. <clears throat> the chance of silver. Silver. See, why aren't you telling me that scanner room? You useless pleb. You can tell me there's a bloody alien artifact in the core of the planet. But you can't tell me what's outside my bloody front door. That's right. That's enough for me. Uh, let's go here. I need the wiring kit. That'll give me the advanced wiring kit. I forgot to get creep vines. Damn it. I need creep vines to make the fiber mesh. I need that to make the body sleeper module. I mean, the docking port is probably more important. The sleeper module is not super important right now, so I might just skip that one. But I do want to have the biggest, longest purge that the ocean ever did see. The ocean is entirely wet. It deserves something as big and long and thick as Pudgy Boy needs to be. I should probably make that uh, thing for him. Although I have the fab... Oh... I know, I'll grab the uh, the vehicle bay and I'll take it with me. And then when I go past the creep line forest, I'll grab some, make the mesh and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That will give us all that we need. Okay, that's using your noggin, Josh. Good job, M99. Let's go make ourselves a docking port. We'll put Penny inside Pudge. And then we can go off as one big happy family and go get ourselves eaten by a giant crustacean. The docking thing doesn't really look very big at all. Does it have to go like right on the end? Is it, can it only go on the end? Or after like detach this and then put the sleeper module in between it? like later on i don't know i'll give it a crack though let's go like this and get some sight on it there it is all right and as easy as you like back up right into it beep 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 bonk okay we're in so how does that actually work how does it look oh my god pudgy boy you are a long sausage do we have any fish yet have we have we trapped any fish is that is he inside open storage we do okay so we managed to pick up one fish in our adventures it's not really particularly many how do I... How how do I... What if I just enter the sea truck? I'm already inside the sea truck. 
so many questions. So many questions about what's going on. How do I get Penny attached to you? Do I just like walk up and just like smear my face all over it like I would a kebab at four in the morning? I mean, am I about to get garlic sauce and all the nooks and crannies of Penny? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Let's get over there and just like just, just, just put our nose right into that little orifice right there. It's asking for it. It's begging for it. Don't even need lube. Here we go. Straight up and grab. You know what? That totally works. You know, I would love... A part of me really wants to just, like, detach all of the modules and just have Pudge and Penny just, like, stuck together. And we can just go around as the sweet little combination that we always wanted to be. Maybe I'll do that at some point. This is, like, my long hauler version of Pudgy. And if I need to go down into the deep and dark and scary, so I can just, like, attach you to you and go do that. I don't know. That is for later me to figure out, though. Now that I have all that, let's uh, head back over to the scary place where that shrimpy bastard is waiting for me and see what's going on. Hopefully this goes a bit better for me. God, Pudgy, you are long boy. You, uh, you've you really got some uh, some weight singer now. You're, even with the horsepower update, you're still moving like a slug rolling down a hill. Okay, I've made it back. I think this is where I was last time. Let's quickly just duck out of here and see what is going around. Please don't be a monster waiting for me as soon as I get out of here. No, there's lots of there's lots of monsters up there. I managed to sneak through most of them. Where is the big prawny boy? Where is the big sea fruit delight? Where is the crab stick with the big dick? I mean, I don't really know why I'm looking. I, I definitely, I definitely heard him. He's around here somewhere. Okay, uh, Penny, I need you. I need you. I need you bad. Let's get in there. I have a, I have a drill and I have a freaking repulsion. I can't grab this idiot, but I can drill him in the face. Oh, I can drill him in the ass, actually. Come here. Come here. How much damage do I have to do to you to get you to die? It took four punches or two good double strokes to kill you before. Maybe I should just... Maybe I should just, like, take these arms off and go back to the old way. The old way worked fine. I probably don't need to worry about it if I can just punch him in the face. Because this doesn't seem to be nearly as effective as it was before. I do have the torpedo arm, but I didn't actually bring any torpedoes, so I'm not sure that's actually going to work for me. I mean, the punching is fine. Doing that much amount of, like, that amount of damage when I get all up and close and personal in your beeswax is fine with me. Although, I'm stuck inside my head right now. My game's a little bit wigged out. Can you, can you sort it out, please? No, I, I, I don't want to see what's inside my body. I don't want to see what I had for breakfast because it was just a freaking weak beaks uh, bar and some water that came out of a fish. I don't want to know what's inside. I just want to know how to use my own freaking eye sockets. Ah, uh, that's probably why. Look at where Pudgy is compared to like the ground around it. So if I move Pudgy, hopefully that will mean that when I, I can dock and redock, uh, dock and undock, turn it off and on again and do the old IT solution to this. Hopefully that'll mean that when I uh, when I put him on and put him off again, it'll like sort it out and not be in such a weird position. All right, let's try that. Up in the open air. No, I don't want to go into the body, uh, into the thing. Why is all the options all in the same place? I want to click in different places to get different results. I'll click in one place and just have like a, a potluck, a lucky draw to get a different result each time. Oh, don't push, Pudge. Get in, Pudge. Damn it. Okay, there we go. Penny's back on. Let's jump back in. And this time, not be... There we go. I'm not inside my own head anymore. All right, we are sweet. We're good to go. Pudgy, you stay there. I don't really know where I'm going, but I know I have to go this way. I want to- I'm starting to look- Where the hell was that? Oh god, there's something all the way up there. Was it- okay, so it wasn't the crustacean. Uh, is there something stuck in the wall? That happens quite often, actually. Monsters get, like, trapped behind the walls. They come and make a ruckus and try and eat you, but they can't get through the solid rock. So I know where the prawn is, so I'm gonna head out this way instead. I don't- know. Oh god, okay, there's a couple of monsters and stuff, but there's like a big ice shelf over here. Am I like underneath the glacier? The glacier's on the other side. I don't really know, actually. I'm not sure where I am. I do know there's a lot of Muppets around here, and I do know I can murder every single friggin' one of them. You wanna come pick a fight with me? Look, look at your dead brother and come and tell me what I was said about it. Here we go, here we go. Boom! Right on either side of the eye sockets. Oh, mate. You're going to be blind drunk when you wake up, but not because you had so much alcohol, because I punched your freaking daylights out. Yeah, Penny was a wonderful idea. I feel so much better having Penny with me than I did just with Pudge. Oh, look at that. Even getting double teamed, I can still take you all on. Oh, this is so much better. Look, I still don't want to take on the giant crustacean because he is a menace and he will ruin me. But just having this bad boy around to actually do some decent damage and clear the path ahead of me, go on a bit of a murder spree. Like, if I don't have to watch my back every three seconds, I can just, like, whoa straight ahead and kill everything in front. And I'm going to feel so much better about it. Kill you. 
<laughs> just leaving a trail of bodies behind me. Stay out of my way. Oh. Okay, I think that's the ship I was looking for down there, but there's so many monsters around. I need to be on my toes and paying attention for whichever one decides to come for me. Uh, Penny has taken a battering. Despite murdering everything she comes across, she's still seen some better days. Although I... Th what the shit? Where did you come from? I don't know. Do you want one I've already punched before? Okay, he was almost dead, but Penny is really hurt now. Let's quickly go like this. Let's go like that. And just quickly give you a cheeky bit of a repair. Yes, I know there's monsters everywhere, buddy. I know, but this is more important. We're going to make sure you're in tip-top fighting shape. The purse is on the line and also my life. And I don't know how much you value me, but you should definitely value the purse. So that was the artifact thing I scanned last time. Uh, I've been around there. Oh, that's way back to Pudge. All right, I'm going to see how far... Oh, God, there's one right here. I'm going to see how much further the uh, the purple vents goes before it turns into something else. I can't... Oh, God. I was going to say I can't see it. He went up and above me. He was smart. He knew where I couldn't see anymore. And he went up there. Let's touch down and jump back. Come on, I'm coming for you, bud. I'm coming for you, bud. Swiggity swooty. I'm coming for that slippery booty. Come on, you're going to turn around. Yep, there you go. Good boy. All right, see you later. I love, I love the whole, like, this it basically looks like uh, Penny just reaches out and just goes, boom, and just slaps it on either side of the head. And that is how Penny attacks. And I'm A-OK -okay with that. That is fine with me. There was nothing down that way, so I'm just ignoring it and going back up this way. I've already scanned that thing over there. Oh, yeah, there's lots of monsters this way. Whenever there are monsters, there must be good loot. Um, I don't think I want to go down that way. I can't see how freaking deep this place is. Oh, let's have a look. What's the worst that happens? I fall into the middle of the earth? I mean, that would be pretty terrible. And seems to be exactly what... I, oh my god. Exactly what I was about to do. Thank god Penny has some jump jets. Because I would have gone straight to the core. Straight into the mouth of a goddamn shadow leviathan. That would have been an interesting time. And probably not good for anybody. Plus, I mean, I've only got 400 meters of depth on this thing. So probably not great for that either. Um... I don't know. I don't recognize this place. I think I, I thought I came up in a slightly different area. I have a quick little gander around here. It's still the purple vent, so it can't be that bad. Jesus Christ. Looking over that edge and seeing nothing but deep and dark and murky black, that's horrifying. I'm not entirely sure where to go, but there are bodies of monsters lying everywhere around here because I've been running a riot. Uh, it's not all the way up there, though. But it's killed the ones in the area I'm looking for, then I should be all right. I also really wish it was daytime again. This is why I need the sleeper module in the back of Pudgy Boy because I need to take a quick little kip and get some light shining around here. That's what I need it for. Now, nope, lots around there. Oh, I can see the sun's starting to rise on the glacier up there, though. Maybe it's time I go back and get Pudge and see what else is going on. Maybe I found all that good stuff by accident. Oh, no, there's some more over here. What's that? That's a docking, a docking fragment, it looks like. Is there any more? Is that the light from Pudge? It looks like the light from Pudge. Okay, I'll make my way back to where I came from. That's fine. All right, so I just came in the back way. I went through the, the way I wasn't supposed to go, the dirty uh, forbidden way, but that's all right. We got there in the end. There it is. There's the long schneck of Pudge. That looks sick, though. The light shining on the top of the glacier, like lighting it up while I'm down to the deep and dark and scaries. That looks sick. This game never ceases to make me go, whoa, that looks cool. Because, oh my god, this game looks freaking cool. I've at some point picked up a tiny little miniature, like, piranha thing. Those things are mean and vicious. Like, my parrotfish, whatever they're called. I'm not sure what they're called, actually. Uh, you are a symbiote. Well, you don't give me anything good, but I am going to take a peeper out of there, and I will take a peeper and a bladderfish out of there, because I am hungry and thirsty, but I have a what, an attached little uh, buffet, really. I can make whatever I want out of that and be happy with it. Although now I've lost... Um... This used to be my fabricator module. What? Where the... The fabricator module has a bunch of the important stuff in it as well. Has like a food and batteries, water, and uh, the like the, the upgrade components too. You, you gotta be fucking kidding me, game. Where the hell is half of Buddy Pudge? Did it die? Did it get broken? I would have thought if something broke just behind me, it'd just like snap off the tail as well. So I'd know it was there, not just like be replaced by something else. Where the hell is my fabricator? Well, unfortunately, we have to go home. Despite our best efforts to make ourselves, you know, uh, be self-sufficient out and about on the town, turns out the game had some other ideas. But before I go, I'm going to quick have a quick little look around here. I haven't been over to this area before, so I'm not really sure what's out here. I hope there's something cool to make this worthwhile. 
I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. Where the hell has the like half of my ass gone? I was just out here looking around like a nice little peaceful boy, and you came over and snapped up half my ass cheek. That's not cool, game. That's not allowed. Okay, is it just is it just like the glacial wall and some bunch of crocodiles out here? I, I guess so. I don't know. It's a pretty risky place to be, but I'm just annoyed now. I'm on the warpath. No, I'll electrocute every goddamn one of you. I've got an idea and I'm hoping it's gonna work. I'm gonna get my thermo blade because I'm very hungry and very thirsty and I've been completely boned by what the game has done to me. There's the toothy torpedo over there and a couple of whales, but whales are okay. So I'm just gonna go like this, gonna drop you, go three and just go, no, no, like this, grab that one and slice and pick up cooked bladder fish, water and food. I mean, not a lot, but some, some is better than none. Come here, come peeper. Peeper, why are you so fucking fast? Peeper, get back here. I've got a sec. I'm trying to murder you. Why are you trying to, like, survive? Ah! Uh, uh, did, I, did I hit you? I did hit you. There we go. I'm getting too far away from Pudgy Boy, but at least I'm getting some sort of sustenance back into me. This is such a bullshit way to have to do it. I had this shit sorted, game. Oh, my God. Wait, interact? Interact? <gasps> I was gonna say I was surfing on the bloody whale, but I can actually like surf on the whale. Can I steer it? No, not really. Do you just like bring me to the surface to get air or something? I'm not sure, but you're doing a wonderful job of it right now. I mean, I was just gonna walk around having a wonderful time. I was like, yeah, boy, I'm hanging ten and I'm surfing in the, on the whale USA. Oh, and back down again. No, wait, come back, come back. So if I grab you, do you then take me back up to the surface? Can I, can I grab? Can I grab? Interact, there we go. Do you bring me up or you just, oh, you do. Kind of, maybe. Oh, to you too. I'm not gonna go full dooring and try and sing whale. I mean, I don't really have the nutrients in me right now to be faffing around like this, but this is fun. This is cool. I didn't know I could ride the whales. Awesome. That's so much better than riding the East Australian current. All right, let's get back into Pudge. I need to find some more fish. The only way I can get sustenance right now is with my goddamn uh, fire blade. Let's keep on going around and fill up our uh, aquarium with some fishy boys. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed with all that though. Like even the splendor of riding on a whale's back still hasn't cheered me up because I got dicked hard by the game. Just taking notes from Seven Days to Die and be like, you know what? You having fun? Well, how about a big floppy cock of fuck you? All right, I've been going for a while just following the glacial wall and uh, there's nothing really out here anymore. I don't like even spawning any schools of fish. It's just nothing but deep and dark and scaries. All right, it's probably time for me to head back home again. I was just kind of cruising around. I was just like, I've never been over this site before. Always been stuff around around the island. So I was, I was wondering what's over here. Some icebergs and stuff. But there doesn't seem to be much else. So I'll just head back home. We'll be fine. I'll go and figure out. Hopefully the, like, the bloody compartment is left back at my base. I can go and grab that again. Because I'm going to need it. But what's like, what's the next stage of sort of like, what's the, what's the next part I need to do? I know I need to go back down into the crystal caverns to get the, um, the, the kyanides for the, the last piece of the puzzle, the thermal reactor mod for Penny. But I also need to go down there to, to make Alan's body. But I mean, to, I don't, I, I don't know what else, you know? I, there's probably definitely more over where the snow fox is. Maybe I'll just head straight there. I mean, why not? I'm going to tap X and just go in that general direction. And that's, that's the only place I haven't really explored to the full extent yet. So I'll go over there and have a quick little gander around and see what's going on. I also need to put the snow... Oh, that's what was in my bloody fabricator module. I better fucking find that goddamn fabricator module because that has uh, the snow fox jump module in it. And if I have to remake one of those, I'm going to be mad. Plus the other shit I've lost as well. That's just, that's just really, really not on game. Is there a limit on how many modules you can have in a truck? I don't know. I, I, maybe maybe it snapped off when I lost it in the wall that time. I don't know, but I'm really, really annoyed. I've come back to where I left Pudge parked last time just to see if maybe, maybe it got left behind over here. I don't think it did. I don't see anything. I'll quickly just duck out and have a quick little look around. Could take pain. I don't think I'll be here long enough to do it. It's, it's, it's not here. It's not here. There's nothing here. You can see the box that was uh, where I got the, the bloody inf uh, blueprint from. I got distracted by yelling at me to get blue uh, the bloody fluids again. It's not here. It's not here. I'm I'm actually gutted. You know, like sometimes, like one of this. Oh, there's a bloody blood official right here. Fat, let's just get you and immediately just like slice you up, carve you up, and eat you. Come here. There we go. Grab you. Cooked bladder fish. Not so great for the waters as ringing you out like the old soggy sponge that you are, but at least it's better than nothing. I just, I just don't want to have to make that again, you know? It's just so inconvenient to have to do that. 
Oh, it's just, I mean, I'm going to have to make it anyway because I have to go back to uh, to the glacier over where the snow fox is and see what's going on over there. But I'm going to need my fabricator to do that. You just, you're just really giving me the long dick right now. You're long dicking me. You saw the length of, of Pudgy Boy and you got jealous. And you had to reinstate your authority by fucking me over. Please be here. Please, please, please be here. I'm actually begging you, game. Please give me back what you've taken from me. It's not here. It's not fucking here. It's not... Come on, game. That's bullshit. You know it. Oh, well, I've got to make a new one. I've got to make a new one before I go off to see, uh, to see Snow Fox. It's just... Oh, come on! All right, what do you even need? I don't care. Okay, I've got the stuff for the sleeper module now. Anyway, what do you actually need for the fabricator module? Another plus two ingot, some lead, and a computer chip. Ah, oh, that's so much. That's so much. It's going to take me some time to get it. I don't have most of that stuff left over anymore because I've used it all with all my other shenanigans. Oh, it's so heartbreaking. I'm so, I just, I'm just gutted. You know, it just, like, it steals my motivation to keep on going. I want to finish the game. I want to get to the point, like, as far as the, the current update allows. I want to keep on going and keep on pushing. But it does shit like that. I know it's an early access game. Open the fucking locker, please. I'm not in the mood for it, game. I'm not in the mood for your shenanigans right now. Piss off with your nonsense. Thank you. Here we go. Make some fiber mesh. I mean, look, if I'm going to have to make a new uh, module for my sea truck anyway, may as well make them both. Uh, I'm gonna need some more lead though. Ah, oh, nice. No, that's that one there done. Uh, what else do I need? I need the bloody silver and a oh, computer chip and some gold. All right, I forgot to get that last time. Josh, focus on what you're doing. Uh, in fact, let's let's actually make sure I focus on this time. Let's go here up to the very top. Where's the computer chip parts? That one there. Okay, focus on that one. Uh, in fact, all I need is just two two coral samples. Do I have two coral samples actually? Not in there. Oh, it's doing the thing again. Would you stop, please? Oh, there we go. Okay, no, nah, not in there. I know I just checked it, but it was a little while ago. A few guys have just checked it. It was a little while ago for me. Nah, nah. Where the hell? Have, what? There it is. I knew I had some. I just couldn't remember where I put them. All right, here we go. Let's try this again and hopefully not lose it this time. Fabricator module. Please make me one of those. I, mean, I don't even care if they fall on each other anymore. I'm just going to get this done nice and quick. Hurry up, you stupid little buzzy drone things. Get it done. Get it dusted. Get it in the water so I can make the next one. If they land on top of each other, what's the worst that's going to happen? going to randomly lose one of them again? Uh, them again? Oh, no. Not like that doesn't happen randomly anyway. I'm so, I'm so salty. I'm so fucking bitter. I'm just... I'm just, I'm just one big bag of salt and vinegar chips minus any sort of potato and any sort of taste and flavor. I'm just, oh, okay, whatever. We're moving on. We're getting over it. Come on, come down. This is going to land right on top of you. I don't even care. Boom. Do I just make two of the same thing? Are you two of the same? Josh, did you make, did you make the same thing? No. Okay. It just looks the same. I thought for a second I did. They just look identical from the outside. Oh, they've got little, like, one's got a little, like, uh, uh, thing on top of it. The other one does a little vent. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Sleep truck module. Let's get you and just dock you onto the other one. And it will put you onto the big, long snake that is Pudge. And then hopefully nothing else disappears. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Holy shit. I thought for... So I grabbed the talking module and brought it over and attached it to there. And Pudge disappeared. Where... Wait, where's... Where... <laughs> oh, there, there's the mode. I was like, where's actual Pudge? Where is it gone? But it's just down here. That's okay. Oh, my God. I don't trust the game anymore. Every time something happens now, I just assume something's wrong and broken. And I'm going to have to go and find all of my life again. Okay. How are we looking? Is that everything? We still have everything. We have a fabricator module. We have a sleep module. Ooh, with a jukebox and a... I can set the picture? Oh, that's sick. Okay, well, I'll do that later. We have our storage. We have our second storage. We have our teleportation module. We have our aquarium. And we have our docking module. So Pudgy Boy is the longest Pudgy that ever punched a Pudge. He needs multiple peanut butter sandwiches right now. Or else he's going to get real cranky and start controlling the weather in bad ways. Look how long he is. Look how long he is. His bloody tail is sticking out into the fog to the point where you can't see it anymore. Look how long this bad boy is. What a weapon. What a weapon you are, Pudgy. So I was planning on going to the uh, the glacial shelf today in this episode, but I think I've just run out of time. It's been so much faffing about with all of like the resource gathering and stuff. I've been going for a couple of hours now. 
It's just, it's just so much to do. There's always so much. When things go wrong, it makes life just a little bit harder that I didn't particularly need. I know I need fluids. For goodness sake, I've been doing so much other stuff. I've forgotten about bloody uh, actually keeping myself alive. I have the fabricator back. I need to go get... Oh, wait, do I, have, do I have anything left? Do I have anything in? Oh, wait. Please. Please. No, it's gone. It's gone. I need... I, so I have to make the Snow Fox module again. The game, the game's just, just like breaking every sort of ounce of strength I had left to keep on going. The game's just wrung out of me. It's wrung out the energy out of me. Like I'm about to wring the juices out of this goddamn bladder fish. It's just, I mean, look, it's a harsh, cruel world. This thing gets turned into a bottle of water. Or I get turned into a puddle of a human being. It's just the way, it's just the way the world goes sometimes. So I'm going to have to go and make myself the, the, the bloody Snow Fox module all over again. I'm just going to have to wait till the next episode to go back out to the glacial shelf. I'm sorry, I was trying to do more. I really was. But it's just, at some point, you've got to put your hands in the air and say, you know what, it's enough for today. Before I put my head through my desk. I've still got my cold suit helmet in my uh, storage box, which is convenient. Thank God I didn't put it into the, the fabricator module. I would have lost it like everything else I lost. I'm going to quickly go out and grab myself some more fish. Like, the aquarium module is fine, but if I bonk a fish with, with the, the nose of Pudge, it just kills the fish. It doesn't suck it up. So I've got to, like, kind of, like, swing my ass at fish to try and grab it, which isn't particularly um, uh, intuitive. You know, it's not the most easiest thing to do when you're flying about the ocean. There you go. Push you away. Look at that. You're not stretched out weird anymore yes bring in all the fishies i want all of them for me you come here grab you i want some bladder fish uh boomerangs not so much anything around that's got some sustenance want to take with me want to have a living little pantry in the back of my ship all right let's try this again i've come all the way out to the creep vine reef again just so i can have a little bit of a chance of getting some more fish out here where are they? Where are they? Oh, there's a there's a thing over there. Let's just get rid of you and you. Uh, you as well. Piss off. I don't want to deal with any of your shenanigans right now. Okay, grab trap. Go. Get me some food. Get me some deliciousness. I need some lunch. Is it, are you serious? All you've got is a bloody boomerang. What a waste of time that was. Fine, I'll go deeper down then. Where's all the bladder fish and where's all the peepers? Those are like the sustenance of the ocean. Are you just are you all down here? Is this where you are? Alright, we'll try again. Huh? Yeah. All right. What are you gonna find me this time? Oh, actually, there's a thing over there. Can I like, can I distract you? Oi, mate. You come here. You come here. Get grab the bloody stingray. There you go. And let's feed you to a toothy torpedo. Have that. And don't come for me, please. Yes. Go chase it. I've left the grav trap just doing its thing. It wasn't really doing much for me, and has gone out hunting by myself because the uh, the bloody propulsion cannon is actually really helpful. No, I don't want that one. I wanted that one. There you go. Because you can just grab shit and pull it into your inventory, or grab a sea monkey and fire off into the distance. Whichever one you choose. You know, it's useful for gathering. It's useful for expulsing. Expulsing? Expulsion? I don't know. Words aren't my strong suit. They never really were. I can't talk English, let alone Australian. That was a bone fish. I didn't want that. I wanted the bladder fish. There you go. I can piss that. Which one? That one off. Piss you off. All right. Anyone else around? Anything else that's actually useful? I'm going to fill my aquarium up the hard way because this wasn't doing it automatically for me. Here we go. Just fill this one with peepers because why not? And we'll fill the other one with some bladder fish. I don't want the stupid, uh, whatchamacallit, this thing in there. Get you, get you, you, and you. The perfect amount of fishies. We'll keep the feather fish in there. Why not? Just for some, a little bit of variety, you know? Kind of everything looking the same. Got to have a couple little friends for the fish to make fun of. Got to have the one, the old one out for all the other bladder fish to gang up on. Which is interesting, you know, you, you think a sponge teasing another kind of fish would be a, a bold move. But bladder fish are risky like that, you know, they do some interesting things. That's just how they are. I've just introduced this species into a different area. You know what? We can't, we can't have that. We can't have that. Go back to where you came from. Oh, so help me. So help me. So help me. And cut. All right. That's going to have to be enough for today. So tomorrow, or well, the next episode of film, I'm going to film another one back to back. I just, I just can't do it. I'm too gutted from having uh, lost all that stuff. I still want to make the Snow Fox uh, module thing, which I think I can make in this thing now. It was in deployables. I can, I've got some titanium. I need to find some silver and then I can make one on the go. And then I'll go off to back to the glacial shelf and sort out that. Go get my snow fox. Go and explore the rest of that area because I know there's more out there that I haven't found. I've only really like kind of skimmed the surface and murdered a bunch of um, stalkers. So, you know, yes, there's some blood on my hands, but no, I haven't got everything out of it yet. There's a whole other biome out there apparently that I haven't got to yet. So I need to go out there and see what that is all about. But I'm going to have to do that in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If y'all like to make sure you hit the like button down below, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter, 
If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.